Hi, I'm Carl, and in this video, we're going to be going over questions 9 to 11 of section 3 of the Orange Booklet. So this is a question about osmosis in the gut, and we're given a diagram here in figure 1 of some tissues in the intestine. And um, there's a couple of bullet points there that are also worth looking over. Question 9 says, which one of the following best describes the relative situation when water moves across a semi-permeable membrane by osmosis from side 1 to side 2? So I've drawn a diagram here and I've put in side one and side two, and the two variables that can affect osmosis that are described here. So we know that osmosis is going to be the movement of water from an area of high concentration to an area of lower concentration. So we can draw that in. You've got a high solvent concentration on one side and a lower solvent concentration on the other. And that'll draw water from side one across to side two, like this. And what about solute concentration? Well, it's gonna be the opposite. If side two is a higher solute concentration than side one, then that's going to draw water across too. So we've got four different options here, and we just need to find ones that have the right pair. And so we've got a lower solute concentration on side one and a lower solvent concentration on side two. And so that means that the answer for number nine is going to be C. Okay, so then if we look at number 10, it says which one of the following diagrams is the best representation of a me mechanism that would lead to diarrhea? So diarrhea is going to be whenever you have too much water maintained in the lumen. So let's think about how the movement of ions across these cells um, could affect um, the osmosis of water. If we look at A, which is the top left hand corner here, we've got an arrow with one line through it, which shows that the chloride ion pump here is going to be inhibited. And that means you're going to have less ions pumped into the uh, lumen. The, that means there's going to be a lower solute concentration on the side of the lumen. And so that's going to pr promote um, water being absorbed by the gut. So A would actually um, prevent diarrhea. If we look at B then, it's going to be the inhibition of sodium uh, being moved from the lumen into the villus cell. If we were to move sodium into the villus cell, then that's going to decrease the solute potential um, of the inside of the villus cell. In other words, that's going to increase the concentration of solute within the villus cell. And in the previous question, we talked about how that um, would draw water across the membrane. So inhibiting this would cause diarrhea. And so the answer for this one is going to be B. And finally, if we look at question 11, it says of the following diarrhea causing organisms would most likely act by what mechanism? OK, so I've got a diagram here of villa cells and crypt cells. If we were to inhibit osmosis via crypt cells, how would that um, cause diarrhea? So that's assuming that water will move. Let's say the lumen is on this side. That's assuming that water is going to be moving across the crypt cell. Uh, like this. But of course, the crypt cell um, exports chloride ions, as we are told in the top um, bullet point just underneath figure one. And so that's not going to be the answer in this case. If we look at B, then it says blocking the sodium pumps of the villa cells. So that was the answer to the last question. We know that is a diarrhea causing um, mechanism because it decreases the solute potential of the contents of the lumen and so that would prevent any osmosis of water from the lumen into the gut increasing the amount of water in the feces which of course is going to be diarrhea so the answer for this one is going to be b if we look at c then it says inhibiting crypt cell secretion of chloride into the lumen so we know that that would inhibit or that would prevent um, diarrhea. And the reason for this is if we were to put more uh, ions into the lumen, we're going to be increasing the solute concentration there, and that will draw water out of the tissues into the lumen and promote um, diarrhea. However, if we're inhibiting the crypt cell secretion of chloride ions, we're going to be decreasing the solute concentration, and so that would um, prevent diarrhea. And then of course if we look at D it says enhancing villa cell absorption of sodium uh, from the lumen. So that would be the opposite of answer B and would also 
prevent diarrhea? So the answer here is definitely going to be B. So that was questions 9 to 11 of section 3 of the Orange book that I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.